is Falconers, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So the last time, we finally got into the business. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not a heart-throbbing school trip, but it's a killing school trip. So yeah, we finally met Monokuma. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> but yeah, so let's continue. Rule 5, once a murder takes up takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule number 6. If the placard is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the placard is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the surviving placard will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. Rule 9. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Rule number 10. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. Rule number 11. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Last rule, additional school trip rules may be added at the head at master's discretion. Alright, that's the rule. As I raised my head from the e handbook with a heavy sigh, I saw the dark cor courtyard of the hotel. I sat on the bench, paralyzed with paralyzed with thought. Is he really going to make us do this? There was no way I could believe that this was now my reality. Even so, this was undeniably real. Yep, the Gundam, <laughs> the Mecha. No matter how much I didn't want to believe it, the moment I experienced and felt it for myself, it became undeniably real. This is a reality that could not be more different from my usual daily life. School, studying, exams, job hunting, going for walks, going to school, riding the train, lectures. That kind of daily life is no longer mine. As I looked up, I saw stars glimmering in the night, covering the sky like a sheet. They looked as if they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. For the first time since I arrived at this island, instead of the night sky I'd grown accustomed to, I saw a night sky that was far too beautiful. As I stared blankly into the night, into that night sky, I suddenly imagined those words in my mind. The student who murders their classmate will be able to leave this island. When we were forced to hear those words, we just stood there silently. Nobody said a word, and eventually, everyone scattered and vanished. And it led straight on to the first night, a night so beautiful it enchanted me. And yet, my heart was horribly upset. That kind of beauty was definitely far different than my usually, usual daily life. Chapter 1 Destination Despair Oh yes! Ooh! <laughs> okay. お知らせします。オッケー。ただいま午後 <laughs> ゆっくりとお休みくださいませ。オールライト。ただし、就寝の際にはしっかりと部屋に鍵をかけることを強くお勧めします。ナイスマイクビーグッドアイディア。どこの誰が人殺しを目論んでるかわかったもんじゃない
Let's see our pet. Oh, there's a poop. Let's clean that up. Alright. So, oh wait. That's the right way, okay. Cottage, cottage. Where's our room? It's right over here. Uh huh. Hajime's cottage. Yeah. Cottage. Hajime Hinata. Ooh. Super nice. Damn it. As soon as I enter the cottage, I collapse onto the bed. What the hell? As I screamed silently to myself, I buried my head in my arms. I didn't want to see anyone anymore. I just wanted to be alone forever. I have nobody I can trust. Because even if I wanted to trust them, I don't know anything about them yet. The only person I can trust is myself. No, even I don't believe that. In truth, after I was forced to hear that dumb rule, you cannot leave unless you kill someone, I realized that it I realized there is a part of me that really wants to get off this island. And at that moment, I let out a scream. Ah! A scream erupted from my mouth. Ah! <laughs> it rushed from my mouth like water from a collapsed dam. Ah! <laughs> Why me? Why do I have to go through with this? Ah! Okay, I began to lose my voice and it faded entirely not long after. What followed was silence. No, not complete silence. I heard the faint sound of crashing, crashing waves in the distance, as if the waves were murmuring into my ears. This is no longer the world you knew. And once again, I buried my head in my arms. Why am I here? What am I doing here? I forced my eyes shut. I wasn't tired or anything, but I just wanted to sleep, if only for a short while. I wanted to put an end to it all. And if, by chance, I managed to wake up the next day, it would be awesome if I was back to my normal life. With this meager expectation, I fell into a light sleep. Ta -ta 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 yeah! Ahem! To those of you who purchased Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair, thank you very much. To those of you who are borrowing Danganronpa 2, goodbye despair from a friend. You always risk losing friends when you borrow their things, so you should buy your own copy just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> now then, it's been a while since the main story started, so I'll give the keynote address right now. From now on, I promise you'll be charmed by this world. It genuinely deserves to be called a true game. So make sure you get excited and immerse yourself in the heart-throbbing action to your heart's content. Mm -hmm. We know we will, you know. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, Monokuma. Thank you. Alright, what now? Okay. So, it definitely wasn't a dream after all. I was forced to acknowledge that yet again, which put me in a bad mood from the get-go. I guess for now, I should go outside. <laughs> no, 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 you are not allowed to go out. M Monokuma, what are you here? Hey now, don't be so worried. I'm here for fun reasons. Fun reasons? I want you to find my stuffed animals. I got ahead of myself and made too many. But I thought it'd be a waste to just throw them away, so I waited them all over the island. They are scattered all over various areas, so you just go right ahead and look for them all. W why do I have to do something like that? Cause I said so. You cannot say no. I've already hidden one of them in this room, and I won't let you out until you find it. Yeah. Good luck! Okay, damn it, that's a stuffed animal. Alright, sure, let's play your game then. Let's see some bats. 
pretty comfortable. Yeah, indeed. It looks pretty cozy. Why down here? There's a lot of windows. I probably want it to feel tropical and open. Well, this isn't really time to be very grateful for that. Anything else? There's the shower room. What's this? What is this? It looks like a shelf. I feel like I shouldn't put anything there. Ah, oh, there it is. Wherever I go, there's something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bingo! Ooh, got the coins. Good job! I've also left you some mono coins. I'm so generous. These coins can be exchanged for fabulous items at the beach and the rocket punch market. I've also hidden the stuffed animal in other places too. So do your best and look for them. Have you find them all? Surprise, surprise! What? Never mind, I should just go. Alright, let's see the shower room. There's a room for showering beyond this point. It's pretty large and it looks easy to use, but I've never really felt comfortable showering. Well, it's this kind of situation after all. Okay, I get it, I get it. I get it. Alright, so let's just leave. Let's see. Oh. What's up? Oh, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. I could say the same for you. But by the way, did you see them? Ah oh, man, not good. What the hell are they? Definitely not good. What? What are you talking about? Uh... The bridge, you know. Remember the bridge at the Central Island? Did something happen to it? Ah! No. Sh shoot. Why the hell has built I be here? Well, those monsters are in front of the bridges. They're they're blowing them off. They're not monsters. They're mono beasts. Oh my God! It's here. The mono beasts are the guardians of the Jabberwock Island. They're making sure you guys don't think about ignoring the progression by going to the other islands. If those monsters are his gatekeepers, it's better if I don't get close to them. Uh, so annoying. I cannot stand this anymore. Uh, hey, get a grip. Your face is uh, getting weird. I can't. There's no way I can get a grip. We're gonna get eaten by monsters. There's no way I can enjoy vacation here now. Oi, hey, what's with all the noise? <laughs> Another m m monster! <laughs> And I came all the way here to get you both to get you both. But but if you're going to call me a master, eh? You're here to get us? I was told to come get you because we kept waiting and you two never showed up. Everyone is waiting at the hotel restaurant. Hurry up and join us. Everyone's waiting at the restaurant. Oh, whatever man. I don't care. I, I don't care at all. I'm out of here. Uh, hey, where are you going? That's what I tried to say, but Kazuichi sprinted away like lightning. I guess I'll head over to the restaurant. Alright, let's go there then. We'll meet you, Kazuichi, later on, I guess. Oh, uh, the restaurant. Ooh, that's a fancy food you got there. <laughs> You're late, Hajime. And where's Kazuichi? I thought you were together. He ran off somewhere. Huh? Huh? Where? Well, he pretty much said he was running away, but... <laughs> running? But where? <laughs> There's nowhere to run away and run, run anyway. What a weird deal. <laughs> uh, wherever. After what we witnessed yesterday, his behavior is understandable. <laughs> Eh, hey, what do you mean? Did something happen yesterday? <laughs> I don't remember anything happening, and even if I did, it looked totally fake anyway. Well, yep, yep, not worth remembering at all. It'd be a lot easier to deal with all this if I could just deny it outright like that. No. So, why have you gathered us here? <laughs> not yet, not until Kazuichi arrives. Uh, wait a sec, that means the reason you told us to come here is... We we we. Apparently, Monsieur Biakuya has something to tell us. Really? What? 
Obviously, we are here to discuss our strategy for defeating that monster. There's no way we can fight that thing. I mean, it has heavy weapons and everything. Anything is possible with a fighting spirit. A bold boast. However, let me give you some advice. They're truly strong. Do not raise their voice so recklessly. Hey, hey, let's start talking already. <laughs> this is probably some lame attempt to make us feel better or something. Don't make me repeat myself. When everyone is here, then we can start talking. Aw, oh, jeez. Fine, I'll just bring Kazuichi myself then. Everyone wait here. I'll find him and bring him here, even if I have to tie him up. <laughs> I'm a little jealous now, getting tied up by Miss Mahiru. <laughs> Maybe I should run away too. Just kidding. <laughs> Disgusting moron. Now then, let's have breakfast while we wait for everyone. Let's eat. The moment he said that, he started wolfing down the pile of food in front of him. Uh, where did that food come from anyway? <laughs> when I arrived this morning, it was already here. Ah, they even have a crab and shrimp! Mm -hmm. Crab and shrimp are such a pain to eat. I hate them, as much as I hate Mikan's ugly, stuttering face. Come on now, don't be rude. M my ugly, stuttering face? Kimo. That's it, that's the face right there. <laughs> Wh why are you being so mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're the kind of girl that bullies just love to torment, aren't you? You should stop now. Oh, I got it. Teru Teru prepared their food, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't me. Oh. You see, the food I make doesn't taste as shooty as this does. This is. This is yummy to me. Just yummy, right? Compared to the world-class dishes I make, a dish that tastes yummy will still be considered shoot. Nonsense! In fact, even comparing them is out of the question. Comparing my dishes to this lowly peasant food, how rude. Hey, you don't take it so personally. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you wouldn't be able to control yourself. What does that mean? Well, let's just say your job wouldn't be the only thing that drops. Oh, okay. Okay. In fact, your panties will drop too. Like the black thong Miss Pico is wearing, for example. You creep? How do you know about... Oh, oh, okay. So it was... Okay. I, I don't... I'm not gonna even make a comment on that. <laughs> he, he guessed correctly. However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then... The one who did is... Lucky. Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? <laughs> Stop, D don't pull, you're gonna rip my sleeves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I just wanna go home already. Okay. What the heck is happening? What the? Oh gosh, like what the heck? How how can that happen? How is that happen? Oh no 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 Yeah right we can see we can totally see that you tripped you know <laughs> How is that even happen? <laughs> Oh no, there it is. What the heck is that? <laughs> but Mikan, are you okay? Oh, my head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. 
She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That ball of hers just was like a magic trick or something. Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're right. Though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast, I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Okay, start to piaku ya. Iga. First, I have a question for all, for you all. That Monokuma thing ordered us to kill each other. So under these strange circumstances, what do you think we need right now? <laughs> Who the freak knows? Get to the point already. If you want me to get to the point, you better hurry up and answer my question. Huh? What do we need? We need food and sleep, obviously, right? No, you've forgotten my poopy. <laughs> Which means the answer are a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good poop. Does anyone have a real answer? Could it be a bond? Bond? This is what I believe. As long as the ultimates work together, there's nothing we cannot accomplish. You'll all be able to create a hope that can overcome any despair. That's why, if we want to escape this island, we need to promise each other that we'll work together. Wow, he said that with a straight face. How is he not embarrassed? Ah, <laughs> uh, just I uh, figured. That was kinda lame, huh? However, he does have a point. That must be why Monokuma is enforcing a rule that will like, cause us to be suspicious of each other. I see, that was a pretty good answer. Since it's impossible to face our enemies as individuals, under these circumstances, we must find us a group. <laughs> However, what we need to achieve that solidarity is not something as easy going and optimistic as a bond. Mm -hmm. Then, what? <laughs> what we need right now is a disciplined leadership, provided by an unmistakable leader. <laughs> I see. Even sports team needs captains after all. <laughs> Rejoice! I shall accept the position. I mean, I can already guess that who will become the leader. <laughs> huh? <laughs> now then, I'll wrap this up introduction and let's move on to the main question. <laughs> Wait just a second. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, what did you just say? I don't care how you excuse it. You're being too forceful, deciding to be leader all, all on your own. And why does it have to be you anyway? <laughs> who is more fit to lead other than me? I am the ultimate affluent progeny of the Togami household, destined to stand above the all others. S seriously, I'm telling you that attitude of yours is too forceful. <laughs> Mahiru, please wait. It's true that Byakuya may be a little forceful, but given our current situation, I believe it's a leader's duty, under circumstances like this, to be forceful to a certain degree. I guess that is true. That may be true, but if we just need someone who can lead people, then even Sonia can. Yeah. No, perish the thought. I am merely a figurehead. Mm. Well, he must have the qualities of a leader if he can accept the role under the circumstances. Mm. If everyone's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Himarida. Then I guess we've made our decision. Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all, that much I promise. Yeah, so reliable! It's true, he's reliable, but I'm a little surprised. I didn't think he was the type of guy who'd say something like that. Yeah, he's kinda a little bit different from the first one, you know? I expected the ultimate Affleck progeny to look down on us like we're bugs or something. Uh huh, that's how it used to be. <laughs> Now then, let's move on to the topic at hand, for real this time. I have something to show you all. Something to show us? It's a Jabberwock Park at the Central Island. Come, follow me. After saying it so bluntly, Piyakuya turned and left the restaurant, stomping his feet along the way. J just as I thought, he sure is forceful. Jeez, we may have made a mistake in choosing him as our leader. Though everyone with similar complaints, they all followed Piyakuya out of the restaurant. Well, I mean, you pretty much don't have any choice. I mean, the only person who can lead is Piakuya. <laughs> and I can totally agree with that. You don't have to pay attention to me, just go and catch up with you soon. You don't seem so persuasive when you have that look on your face. I got hungry when I, got, when I get hungry, I lose the most of my energy. So, 
After she said that, Akane ate the entire pile of food on her plate on one gulp. Mmm, it was good. You ate so fast. I know you even tasted it. Ugh. But what happened? Are you choking? C crap. Now that I've eaten a little, I'm even hungrier. <laughs> a little, huh? Jeez, Piyaku better finish his talk fast. Because once it's done, I'm gonna eat as much as I can. I guess I should go for now. Yes, good luck. Gundam! My, My four dark devils of destruction. Let us finish it at the end of the earth. Jabberwock Park! There's no need to shout. Just hurry up and go already. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I better hurry and follow after Piapu, yeah. He's at Jabberwock Park, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Uh this is over there. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Strafe Strafe. Oh! There's Kazuichi. Soda. Why are you here? What are you doing? You should hurry up under the park. Yeah. Wow. Didn't this the same thing happen last time too? Ajime, how many times are you gonna surprise me? I just spoke to you normally. Anyway, you should hurry up at the park. <laughs> Shut up! I'm going back to my room. Seriously, this all, this is all just one big hassle. <laughs> ah, damn it! Seriously, if we are on the tropical paradise, then why are we in this situation in the first place? Isn't that right? Isn't a vacation supposed to be nothing but lounging around and sipping coconut juice? Relax. Snapping at me will won't change a thing, okay? <laughs> Ajime is decided! You better come to the beach with me later! Huh? For coconuts, damn it! I saw some big ones that fell onto the shore! I haven't figured out how to split them open, but once I do, we're gonna have ourselves some coconut juice! Ooh, okay, I'll take that! You cannot just fill a coconut open. Just give up and get some coconut juice from the supermarket. <laughs> ah! You just don't understand. Fine, by the way. I'm never gonna ask you for help again. He left. I hope he goes straight to the park. Now then, I should hurry too. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean, coconut is nice. A, re a pure coconut, that is. Uh, does this? Nah. Okay. So let's just run normally then. To get some experience in our... Mm, Tamagotchi. Alright, so here it is. Central Island. Uh, Jabberwock Park should be somewhere around here, if I recall correctly. Or maybe not, I don't know. Monokuma Rock. Ah, oh, there it is! <laughs> it's not there before, so... Huh. Ooh. There's the Guardian, the Mono Beasts. Hey, the, the robot, the robot just like, just looks like a robot from Zoid if you ever watch them or read them. It's like a mecha anime. There's Onyx, <laughs> a Pokemon. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's a long walk indeed. I have four to spare matter. Is that good or not? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just go at it. Jabberwock Park. For skinny people, you're awfully slow. It seems you're just too fast for us. Yeah, I guess. J jeez, I never expected a fat, a fat so like him to move so fast. So, what's supposed to be here? Here? Really? If you haven't noticed it yet, then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. Dang. Yep, that- oh! What the heck is that? What? what is that? Is that a time bomb? An obviously out of place object placed on the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's counting down. Was this here when we came last time? No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. 
I found it this morning, when I was exploring the island one more time. It's unknown, when it was, when it was actually placed here. Monokuma must have placed this object. What does this countdown even mean? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> Once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it's got nothing to do with me, because I refuse to believe this is happening. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. A b -b 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 bomb If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now. There's no need for a countdown. Then, what are they counting down? It's a mystery. A mystery is mystery, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so again. Yeah! <laughs> Monami? Huh? Why are you here? People. I heard everyone talking while I was patrolling, so I came over. Uh, no, uh, no. no, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? Uh, so. Ah, so that's why you were surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. I see. You must be an ancient abomination risen from the foulest depths of the native world by black magic. <laughs> Do you want me to make you my thrall? No, no. One of them is a mechanical stuffed animal, right? Doesn't that mean she cannot die in the first place? <laughs> now that you mention it, she'd only need like a spare or something. A spare? What a mean thing to say! <laughs> However, you have arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. What is the meaning behind this timer and this countdown? Answer me. Huh? Countdown? Yep. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What is this? Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you really don't know? I am sorry. I don't really have a grasp of what Monokuma is up to. You don't know? Even though you're Monokuma's little sister. I'm not my brother's little sister. Did she accept the role or not? Which one is it? <laughs> Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off this island. <laughs> if you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Ooh. Um, let's together. Ah, oh. <laughs> I said get lost. Yeah, <laughs> I am sorry. Ah, uh, don't be too rude. Oh, poor, poor Monomi. <laughs> um, perhaps you are being a little too harsh. I'm starting to feel sorry for it. I do as well. <laughs> Miss Sonia. May I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. There's no need to feel sorry for that thing. She's obviously working with Monokuma. Oi, Kura. Who the freak cares about a stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell is that clock? <laughs> Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here? And how did they do it in just in one night? I cannot imagine. Mm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's un unimaginable. The silence is full of mysteries that we cannot begin to imagine. For example, how were the 16 of us brought to this island? <sighs> I wasn't trying to think about that. Shit has been bugging me too, but he's right. That is a mystery. <laughs> There's more. Why Shepherdwalk Island, which was known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So it collapsed? Society is much more it's much like fruit. What is matures, it is inevitably inevitable that it will eventually rot. As the economy grows, the private sector stagnates as elders and bureaucrats become more and more powerful. As time passes, this power becomes the status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible formation. Such a sad trend. Mm, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is somewhat different. Maybe the Mono Beasts killed everyone on this island? And that's how it became uninhabited? That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. 
This mystery remains a mystery, it seems. <laughs> it's like everything here is just full of mysteries. <laughs> You're right, it's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What? Well, what are you trying to say? I mean, the situation where we are in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. Enormous organization? <laughs> Monomi, Monokuma, the Monobeasts, they're all all machines that require ma major technical skill to operate. Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things were made just for the hell of it. That organization might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Could those fiends be hiding on this island? Not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Who? Where would that be? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there's no mistake that an enormous organization is behind all this. I see. A big organization, huh? I cannot imagine what kind of people they could be. Well, let's see. There's my Togami Corporation, Sonia's Novoselle Kingdom, and the Kuzuryu clan. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. <laughs> I'm used to being mistrusted. Do what you will. Hold on, I don't care about you or the Kuzuryu clan, but I won't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you, punks. Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. L loser? Uh, are you talking about me? It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. <laughs> it must be hard to make it your living in the lame ass loser industry. Too far, dude. That's going way too far. Hey, Byakuya. Were you serious just now about this being related to your family and Sonia's and such? <laughs> I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we are up against a huge organization, right? <laughs> Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? <laughs> Whatever. How long are we gonna keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? <laughs> Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So what we must do now is find out who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to a breakthrough. Luckily, according to the AE handbook, we are free to explore this island. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. Alright, let's get this crap done. Uh, what are we looking for? Akane, are you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Yokaru. No problem. No matter how large this organization may be, they will not be able to stand against us. They are, they are destined to fall and turn to ash at the might of my four dark devils of destruction. <laughs> wow, hamsters came out of your scarf. <laughs> <laughs> they are so adorable. Adorable, you say? Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> Thank you. You're pretty happy about that, huh? Huh? Look at that guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely gonna beat the crap out of him later. <laughs> okay. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet, I'm relieved everyone is in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. This must be what it means to have the confidence of the of an ultimate. Then, what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Anyway, let me just say this. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just preserve, persevere, persevere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order. Understand? Woohoo! <laughs> That's like totally awesome! That right hand of his is so plump. I've got the perfect nickname for him Ham Hands! Ham hands? You say? 
<laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Why would I getting mad at something as petty as that? She observed me directly and thought it thought, uh, thought up a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps I've always yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in this particular situation, he is totally monologuing right now. <laughs> don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. Uh, I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all. Despite our situation, he is mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. Yes. Alright then, we should listen to Byakuya and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. It's true that we are not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Because we're not alone, we have friends we can count on to support each other. Seriously? That sounds so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was thinking to myself just holy my son for saying that. Friends, huh? Until now, I never really thought about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually. It's more like because of the situation. Alright. In the end, we never solved the mystery of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if it could happen a little at a time. <sighs> if I'm starting to think like that, doesn't that show I'm making good progress? Maybe. Now then, there's no reason to hold up in my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. Okay. Okay. Free time. Yeah, it's just an explanation for the free time. Ah, uh, okay. This music. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> uh, okay, so who should we hang out with? Who should we go for, you know? Uh, let's see. Let's see the map. Where are the people? This is... Uh, where is this? Hotel front. Uh, we are here. Uh, so this... Uh, Sayonji and Mikan in front of the hotel and then hotel lobby there is Chiaki Nanami and then hotel restaurant there's nothing ah oh, Teru Teru obviously I mean I mean obviously uh, where's the rest of them uh, Gundam is on Ranch Rocket Punch Market uh, Akane and Kazuichi and Sonia is on the airport Bridge Brown is uh, Mizuno. I forget her name. And Ibuki. And then Nagito is on the beach. Central Island. Peko and Nidai. And then Byakuya, obviously, on the chapter one. Wait, did we miss someone? Yeah, Kuzuryu. Where is he? Where's Kuzuryu? I didn't see him anywhere. Inside the room, probably? No. Yeah, Kuzuryu is gone. It's not here. It's not... Uh, it's nowhere to be found. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but okay, let's... Uh, let's go with Nanami, yeah? My... My wife. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I just, uh, just maybe I'll try to mix things up later on. But for now, I'm going for Nanami because Kanahanazawa totally worth it, you know. Ah, I mean she's adorable as well. Do you need something? I know she's gaming, but should I try asking Chucky if she wants to hang out? Yeah, why not? Sure. Can you just wait a sec? I need to find a safe point. Yep. <laughs> I know that feeling. I spent time today sitting next to Chiaki while she played video games all day. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Uh, no. I don't have anything. 
Well, I have the Usami stuff, but I don't think she's gonna like it. She's starting off into space again, as usual. <laughs> Just sleep. Uh, sorry, uh, I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing, impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Mm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Oh wow, that's not good. <laughs> Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I ha I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. The more I think about it, the more this situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Okay, <laughs> Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm, how should I put it? I, I like it, but gaming is my life, or maybe life is just a game. Ooh, that's, that's pretty deep. Either way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. That is kind of true. But for some people might deny that fact, you know. But some people will not gonna not agree with that. But I can I can get behind that, so it's cool. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to be happy to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating game beating them. There might be weird games there here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. But to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see, what is it? Oh. Oh my god, that jacket is so adorable! <laughs> oh, I love her so much now. <laughs> I won't tell you. Oh, come on now. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? What is it, like The Sims or something? <laughs> well, just by talking to Shaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So, I guess that's good enough for now. Ooh. Alright, but guys, I'm dipping on your space with her. Nice! I parted with, with Shaki and went back to my room. Alright. Usually, there's still another free time. So it's still bright out and it's not like a timeline. I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. Yep. Another free time. That's cool. Uh yes. Let's see. Okay, still nothing. Good. Hmm. Now where should we go? Who should we meet? So this Byakuya in hotel front. Nanami still on the hotel lobby. And Nida is on a restaurant. And then... The Speko... Ibuki... Mizuno or something? Teru Teru Hanamura... I mean, I can just read this cottage. Mahiru Koizumi, there we go. Mahiru. Need to remember that. And then... This... Uh, Sayonji... A soda and Akane... Gunda Mr. the Ranch... Uh, Sonia and uh, Nagito, and then Mikan. Yeah, where is the heck? Where the heck is Kozuryu? You cannot even find him anywhere. Ah, oh. all right. So, hmm, I'm not sure who I should go with. I don't know who I should go with. Should I go with Nanami again? Hmm. I know you guys like it. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Let's see the no, not regulation. Report card. Mm, so one of them might have two with Nanami. Uh, should I get every single all of them one first? Uh, yeah, like make them two. 
Or should I focus on one more, one person first, for now? I'm not sure, to be honest, guys. Let me know on the comment. But for now, let's go back to Nanami. Ay! <laughs> okay, I'm so in love with her. I'm starting to get sleepy. What should I do? Invite Shaggy to hang out? Yeah. Then let's go somewhere with good airflow. It'd probably feel good to sleep there. We went to the park, and I spent time making a small talk with Shaggy before she dozed off. Looks like Shaggy and I grew a little closer. Mm, no, nope, really. Okay, that's about it. Okay, it's already night time. Eh? That tells us now. Could it be... Uh-huh. <laughs> やっほー。お楽しみのレクリエーションタイムが始まるよ。オッケー。どんな楽しい催しかは後の祭りじゃなくて後のお楽しみ。若干グダグダになったけど、とにかくジャバオグ公園にお集まりください。Okay. Right now. Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all of this, and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monoguma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? I don't know, just, just go there, find out. And there we go. It's gonna be a long walk. Oh, there we go. Peko, Peko Yama. Peko, you come too, huh? Mm. I have no choice. After all, the e handbook clearly states that defying Monokuma is not permitted. しかし... It'd be foolish to resist if it's just going to make things worse. I hope everyone else feels the same way. That bores me a little. とにかく... At any rate, we must go to the park. I guess I have no choice, huh? Ah! There we go. Jabberwock yeah, Park. Oh! Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. <laughs> Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. Ah, uh, what is this this time? So friggin' annoying. Then you shouldn't have come. Well, I mean, I don't know what will happen to me if I don't come. Heh, <laughs> since none of us know what will happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. Hey, you may talk like you're tough, Vice Guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared too. What? I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? Mahiru, are you gonna really gonna say that? What the frick did you just say? Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. What? Did you just say friend? Okay. I'm not your friend, Travis. When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Eh? <laughs> Let me perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. You? What did you just say? <laughs> oh? You didn't hear me. Then I'll repeat myself. Just once for you. I said, I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me, are you being serious right now? Okay. Hey, Fuyiko, why don't you come down for a bit? Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. I live in a completely different world than you, bastards. Kill or be killed. That's the kind of world I live in. <laughs> the current rules make more sense to me than that play nice and get along crap. If you don't stop it right now, I'm going to get seriously angry. Don't treat me like a kid. <laughs> Just stop it already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up. There's no way I'm dealing with this Kumbaya crap. If any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll freaking kill you right now. 
Sounds fun! Give me your best shot! But what's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? Enough! Fuyuiko, I understand what you're saying. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Are you treating me like kid too? <laughs> but what will reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps, that's what you really want. If so, you'll only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child will do. Ooh! Ooh! Drop in the mic! What did you say? Listen, so long as we are here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. <laughs> what the heck? Everything you are saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true, my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. <laughs> but I am Byakuya Togami, and I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza! He's so cool! <laughs> I agree. Okay, Teru Teru. <laughs> I don't care what you say, I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. It seems like Byakuya resulted, for now. But even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Hey! He's the ultimate Yakuza. What do you expect? Of course he means it. What? It looked like you guys were arguing. So I wasn't sure then when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Why are you dressed like that? Oh, didn't I mention it in the recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Oh, don't tell me you're going to. That's right, since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Oh, okay. Why what does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course not. That's why I brought my partner. Of course. <laughs> what, what, what is this? Hmm, that figures. Now then. Without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma Side Splitting Life 2 Man Comedy Show. Ah, I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Alright. <laughs> okay. Why button on top of it? So should I press it? <laughs> That's great! Yeah, he says a love track, left track as well. Oh, so good! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so big, so much fun. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a big one. Oh, why? 
<laughs> oh my god, he make a reference to the first game. <laughs> okay, that's why that's why I'm not that shocked because of this because is what happened in the first one as well. So, yeah, it's not surprising. It's not surprising. But for those of you who never watched the first one, then probably you that probably you're surprised by now. So, Mm. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Was it was it funny or was the comedy too high bro for you? Boy. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? Yeah, so I guess that's why Byakuya doesn't remember anything in the past, you know. Maybe or I could just totally be wrong, like maybe it's just a separate separate story or something. I don't know. What was I saying just now? Oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories? Completely? What is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way... Cause I just entered Hope Speak Academy and then I was brought to this island uh, right away. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monomi stealing your school memories. W what are you saying? That's impossible! Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope Speak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They are probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous! That's right, there's no way I have memory loss. Yeah, don't, don't listen to what he says! <laughs> Limit rage. <laughs> I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. Y you're lying, right? Stealing our memories, that's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrive at Hope Speak Academy, you all experience a strange dizziness. What? Uh, how do you know that? <laughs> Why? That was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. W what the hell? I could feel myself getting light-hated. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. So, a long time has passed since then? Impossible! There's no way! 
On the contrary, why is it impossible? Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. You just don't want to believe it, right? But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Huh? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. Boop, 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 boop. Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys wanna know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Hey, stop running your mouth. My, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. Well, that's not your fault. You must a natural born cowards. We even cry after their mom squeezes them out. It's to show that we are alive. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? I don't even believe that memory lost crap in the first place. But more than that, what well, you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What, what do you mean? You guys don't know each other, which means... None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Oh? Huh? Hey, where are there 16 of... Why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... That's right! There's probably a traitor! I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding! What are you saying? All this shoot about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. That's why if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Even so, if there re even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be our ally and tricking you guys, it makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. If you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. Nah, <laughs> oh, the plot thickens. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded, faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? Ah, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. That's right. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Monomi, you will know. Is what Monokuma said true? About our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, I mean, everyone is to look to the future, that's why you shouldn't look back to the past. Keep your eyes fixed upon the future, let's do our very best. That's not answering the question. <laughs> As you run away. <laughs> How ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor, it's completely fictional. I cannot deal with this bullcrap, dumbass. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely indifferent from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything, a traitor hiding among us. But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, you guys don't know anything about each other. Yep, that's Monokuma for ya. He's really good at triggering the despair.
おだやかにおやすみくださいねではではいい夢をくんなーいねえ Hey, what should we do? <laughs> It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. <sighs> I guess you're right. <laughs> Just so all you know, you all know. Do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. <laughs> How troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. <laughs> I feel pretty stiff right now too. <laughs> Oh. That's not how that saying goes, but but it's not her fault. She's a foreigner after all. Yeah. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that. But later, I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage, with my head dropping drooping down to the chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like, someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? Wh what the hell? I don't understand at all. I put the stupid thoughts on out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. <laughs> They say impossible is a word that's only found in the fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not in your dictionary. If someone can actually make the simp make the impossible possible, you can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Okay, that's pretty confusing, but okay. All right, morning time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if we drop it all day, no, no, it's not. It's just, yeah, it's the same announcement. I slowly and awkwardly sat up on in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement to compare to the, compared to last night. We all said we'd meet at a restaurant. All right, then let's see our pet. How is it going? It's in cocoon state, almost. Next growth, so uh, system and then save over this file. Yep, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this episode here for now. Oh, yeah, everything starts to kicking off now. The plot is thicken. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I didn't give a really like surprise ex a reaction or something because, like I said, it's the kind of the same plot with the first one but they just revealed this in the what is it in front of, in the start of the game so uh, it's the same one so but i don't know who is the traitor and stuff like that so i mean the only the plot is the same so that's pretty much it so yeah <laughs> sorry if i didn't uh give like a Surprise expression like what? Is it traitor? <laughs> no, because I because like I said, I played the first one already and it's the same plot, so yeah. So uh yeah, I guess pretty much that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave this episode here for now then. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for coming, thank you for having fun together with me, Blood Lost by the Fun and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!